Mr. Deal so young. However, I think he's doing a terrific job so far, a terrific job of marketing him. Do it. Broner on officially enters weighing 147, Escobedo 142, meaning that has not fought a guy with the classical skills of Vicente Escobedo. Four. Laid wide, Roy. What does that tell you? Punish. That's, that's exactly right. To punish the big punches. Hard shots like that, Will. There's a perfect counter right hand. Distance. Escobedo did land a good left body shot in that exchange. Off his head. So is the exaggerated lifted left shoulder. Basically an emulation of the Floyd Mayweather defensive because he's a great counter puncher uh, from the has his weaknesses weaknesses too. <laughs> what is this? However, when you fight a guy who's a superior athlete like a Floyd Mayweather or Adrian Brunner, is the taller guy or the longer built guy, so he should be using his jab twice constantly with that left jab and left hook. Which he doesn't want to swap these body shots for those head shots like that. He has been trying it. He just started behind Adrian, the better boxer, which is clearly Adrian Brunner. The prop. It does make you wonder, though, how Escobedo appreciation for this kind of high skill level that Adrian Broner is showing right now. However, though, for Dawson, if it's not a problem for him to make the weight, he still has to say that to your trainer. You feel like he's starting to weaken, and it just takes a little bit more pressure. Away in the blood that comes out of his nose and his mouth for Broner. So now Gary Rosado telling Broner to keep him up after a body shot wandered low. Top. Escobedo trying to hang on. The corner trying to stop it. And Joel Diaz is holding up. Guy came in having to struggle, obviously, to make 130 pounds. Exactly what he had to do with a fighter like Escobedo. He put the pressure on. Adrian, the problem. Bro